years ago, uh, when I was pastoring People's Church in Toronto, I was asked by um, uh, Brian Stiller and, and later Gary Walsh, who were leaders of the organization at the time, to serve on a couple of committees, and I did so. And I had the opportunity to meet our guest many years ago, and she was so impressive then, and she continues to impress those who know her with wonderful leadership skills, a thoughtful, collaborative leader, and I'm so glad Aileen Van Jinkle can be with us today. It's always good to see you. Uh, thank you for being my friend through these years. You've always been very, very kind, thank you. and I appreciate it. You have started a new organization. It, it, it's called the Field Collaborative, and we want to talk about it and the services that it offers, but let's go back and do a little background as to your story. You, you have for years found favor from God when it comes to helping groups of people, sometimes strong individuals from differing organizations with differing issues. You, you talk about the importance of, of community and bringing them together. That's kind of how all of this journey has, has, has solidified for you. I think you've even written a, a doctoral thesis on this, right? Yeah. So tell us about this. Well, it was uh, many years ago that I realized that I really enjoyed talking with people and being part of groups that we're working on social or political issues. But it seemed to me that what I really enjoyed was helping to facilitate a conversation that got people with different perspectives to come together to develop some consensus, to make a decision about how they were going to move forward. And it was that facilitating conversation that I realized I loved more than anything else. And you did that with Evangelical Fellowship of Canada right. for many years yeah. um, and I think uh, the leaders there put you in positions whereby you could help different denominations try mm -hmm. to find common purpose beyond the uniqueness That's of right. Jesus Christ and the authority of Scripture but there were issues that perhaps um, people needed to come together on but maybe they didn't have the skill sets mm -hmm. or the time to figure out the skill sets that's as right. to why. So that's really where it began to, to form and shape, right? That's right. At that time we began to develop uh, consultations. We would bring different leaders, leaders of different organizations or in denominations together, uh, ask them what do you see in the, in the world around you, especially change. Right. What kind of change is impacting you in your ministry? And then how can we work together in ways to uh, better meet the challenges in the changing culture? We visited with each other a few weeks ago and you mentioned uh, a phrase, communal discernment. Mm -hmm. What does that mean in this context, communal discernment? It's a way of getting people to really come together around what is God saying to us as a group. Uh, we want to listen to God's voice we want to have a real strong sense, uh, a real assurance that God is leading us as a group. How is God moving in the world? How is God present in the world? Let's find out. Let's do some um, checking. And let's, let's go deep into our relationship with God individually and try and develop that communally. Uh, so there are different practices of communal discernment that are in some cases scripture focused, um, but always prayer based so that people can have that sense of listening to God's voice together. So you have strong personalities representing established organizations and mm -hmm. they have a place at the table. Uh, all of us when we come into a room if, that are strong leaders may have agendas. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them may be very noble, some may be fleshly. We just live that between that person and the Lord, but to bring those kinds, of, I mean, you, you work with, uh, I don't know, dozens, dozens plus, dozens and dozens, you've networked with organizations all across Canada. What would be an example of how you would facilitate? What are some key things? And then we want to talk about fields, but right. what, are, what are some things that you could teach us about? I, I was preaching yesterday at a church and I, I mentioned, I was talking about the joy of salvation mm -hmm. at Christmas time. And in the book of Philippians, Paul talks about the joy that is there when there is unity and mm -hmm. purpose in the body of Christ. And that, I think that's a, a high goal of yours, right? Yes. And there's nothing, and when that works, there's nothing better yes. on earth. And when there's disunity in a church, there's nothing worse. That's right. So what would be, what would 
how would you facilitate a, a situation coming together of people? Is there like they're coming together for something they, they, they know they want to try to accomplish, but they don't know how to get there? Right. They may have a decision that they need to make, or they may need to do some planning into the future. And so a good starting place is to have a time of uh, when they simply share what scripture has been impactful in their lives recently. What scripture has moved them to change their thinking, their behavior? And it's, it's a way to say scripture is a kind of a trusted uh, resource for us, not so much a resource, but a foundation for yeah. our thinking. Yeah. And um, so how has scripture moved us individually? And then often there are some themes, common themes, some threads that help to tie those individual percept perspectives together. And um, when we build on those common threads, we have a sense of how God is tying us together. You can work as well in the context, say, of a local church or a ministry like ours, where there is a, there is a oneness, if you will, a purpose. But sometimes ministries, local churches, can lose their way. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I've always found it helpful to bring in facilitators who can help us process that. That's, That's something right. that, that, that you're doing through fields now, isn't That's it? That's right. Let's talk about fields. It's a, services that, a service that you're providing, pardon me, mm -hmm. <clears throat> to um, all kinds of organizations because whether they are uh, businesses or local churches or parachurches, leadership is leadership and the dynamics are, mm -hmm. are often echoed uh, with each other. Fields is a vision to try to provide a service to those organizations, some of them you may be watching, where maybe they need someone to come in and offer facilitation That's and right. this communal atmosphere. Yeah. So what we try to do is develop ways in which people can come together around shared purpose, as you said, right. but also to develop vision for the future, um, to actually uh, then develop strategic planning but to do that in this sense of dis discerning communally, where is God leading? So as, as they develop that capacity through a variety of practices, which a facilitator can help them with, they get a, a sense of clarity about the future, um, unity, as we just spoke about, but also that deep assurance that God is there with them. And that, I think, is almost the most important piece. Well, I, what I love about what you're uh, offering, you and your, your partners are offering, is that you're probing the spiritual. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there are leadership principles, obviously, and there are things that you have to do to bring things in alignment. But when it comes to the work of God, it's the work of God. That's and right. that's what separates the work of God from certain very good secular organizations and secular charities. Mm -hmm. It's the power of God, the presence of God. Now, Fields is an acrostic. Just walk through the F yeah. and all the way to the S. Yeah. What, what, what it stands for? Um, so it's the Field Collaborative. Right. And the F stands for Formational, okay. Intentional, Experiential, Leadership in Dialogue. So all of those words are important to us. We believe we are all in formation. We are all being uh, changed by the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Um, we want to be intentional to really be focusing on what it is God is asking of us. And we want to be experiential. Uh, we don't believe we can just talk at people. There has to be this experience part of the things. Throughout uh, this interview, we've had your website uh, on the screen and we'll put it up again. So let me just give you a scenario. Let's get pragmatic. Okay. If there right now is a, a Christian charity if there is a local church and uh, there's, uh, there's difficulty, and it may not, and, and it's something, or if there's a denominational situation where there's difficulty, what Fields can do is come in and listen mm -hmm. very carefully. That's right. Pray, encourage, set all of that up, and then help that church move through from where they are to where they are. You're almost like a hinge, yeah, correct? Yeah, that's a good You go from one, you help the church to go, or the organization go from where it is to where it needs to be? Mm -hmm. That's right. So um, as you said, we, we go to where they are. We make no assumptions about what they should be doing or how they should be thinking. Uh, we want to listen, especially to their stories. Mm -hmm. What has been helpful to them in the past? How has God uh, blessed them already? Where are some fruitful um, uh, where are some examples of fruitful outcomes? And, and build on that. Trust that God has been with them in those positive experiences. 
and then uh, we we uh, help them to figure out how to work collaboratively at Creative Solutions. So what I would say to you today that may be watching this and you're in church leadership or you're on the board of a charity and um, you're looking at your year end and, uh, and you're just seeing that it's not working well, I want to encourage you to go to thefieldcollaborative.com. I've known uh, Aileen for years and she temperamentally, educationally, experimentally, experientially with her life and obviously spiritually in her walk with God. She and her partners have the capacity to graciously come into your scenario, immerse themselves in what you're trying to do, and help you. So would you go to the website and find out more? And I guess there are ways there we can find out how to get in touch with That's you. Right. And they will answer the phone. They will respond to your email. Please uh, get in touch with them. It may be a service that you need first thing in 2016. It's good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything.